Asli Farouf. I'm a program director at the Concordia University Television. My name is Peter Kennedy. I'm a photographer for OM99 Media. My name is William Ray. Uh, I work with Concordia University Television. My name is Nina Haig. I'm a photojournalist and I volunteer my time for the OM99 Media Group. My name is David Golgan. Uh, I've been volunteering for CUTV. I was uh, following a demonstration by the students against the tuition increases and uh, at, at the end of the demonstration uh, where most of the demonstrators have already uh, dispersed uh, a group of uh, riot cops uh, scooped in and uh, Kettled the demonstrators. It was clear that the students were not resisting, all their hands were up, they were still getting beatings. And I felt uh, at that moment uh, the riot cops um, the squad, seeing that we are broadcasting live uh, the images that clearly showed uh, their abuse of power or use of unnecessary force, they turned around and started uh, pushing us uh, away. Um, the Police in Montreal by that point, uh, we've been filming for weeks, so they know us clearly. Um, we had a, a, a mask, a flag that says what our station's name is, CUTV. We all were wearing tags on our clothing that said press. And at the same time, um, we told them we are a media, we're broadcasting live, uh, there's viewers watching you, uh, you know, be careful in what you're doing, stop uh, pushing us around. At one point and halfway through, you know, the block, uh, they decided that they're going to arrest me. Uh, yesterday I was here as a photographer for OM99 Media. Uh, I was taking pictures and uh, I was at the front of the protest. Um, I had, uh, I was taking shots and then all of a sudden an officer went to swing his baton and, and a protester was next to me I believe and he caught me in the leg, at least I hope it was somebody else. Uh, and he caught me in the leg and sent me over. After that I was uh, doing more filming and I had uh, a riot officer shove me and I, while I was shooting I wasn't even doing anything wrong and then um, I tried to get his name and he refused to give it to me and then uh, I tried to take a picture of it and then he shoved me off again and then uh, I moved along to the side and then there was a charge of the riot squad going in both ways and the same officer charged me and took his riot shield and shoved me against the truck and uh, my ribs are all bruised now. Um, after that, I was standing next to some more protesters and I got caught in some uh, pepper spray. And then finally, uh, there was some officer trying to, uh, I believe it's called tagging, where they tag paint on uh, a protester so they can identify him after. Well, they were sh setting the, shooting the tags and rubber bullets and I got two rubber bullets in the knee. I was clearly identified as being a press member. I had my OED Men and media card hanging out. I made it very clear to them that I was media and that didn't seem to affect them at all, especially the officer who charged me with the shield. I mean, it was clearly obvious that he was targeting me. I mean, like, I was trying to limp out of the way because my leg was already sore from the uh, getting beaten with the baton. And then uh, he just totally looked at me right in the eye and rammed me against the truck and his partner behind him did the same thing right after him. So I got a second shot. On the uh, 20th of April, I was uh, in the lobby of the Palais Congrès in downtown Montreal. The uh, Plan Nord conference was going on. Um, about two to three hundred students suddenly burst in through the back doors into the lobby, uh, confronted the, uh, the uh, riot police that were standing guard on the escalators. It was funny because there were people all around in uh, really nice suits and they didn't, uh, they didn't seem to know what to do. 
So uh, a battle ensued between the students and the, uh, the riot police, uh, during which the riot police uh, were fairly aggressive with the students. Um, after they had cleared the students from the escalators in clearing the lobby, uh, one of the riot policemen uh, swung his baton, uh, breaking parts off my camera and, and knocking, uh, knocking my filming to the side. Uh, after we were pushed out of the building, um, right on the front steps I was attempting to film an arrest. I was about uh, four or five feet from the police line when uh, one of the police supervisors took out the uh, fire extinguisher sized pepper spray there and uh, pepper sprayed me and another uh, photographer. Uh, during the course of the day at various times uh, members of the riot squad pointed uh, uh, rubber ball weapons and, and various things at uh, me and other members of the press. I was covering the student march that night and um, most of the night went uneventfully. However, towards the end when some students tried to go down the off-ramp for the 720 near Sean Mas Metro, um, I ran ahead to cover them going down the off-ramp and as people were deciding to retreat and leave, um, I was covering an incident that was happening where I was hit from behind. I turned around and I had several um, riot police in my face with batons um, yelling at me to move, whereas before I had no warning, I was hit. Um, I was identified with a press pass around my neck. I had one clipped on my belt on my right side, which was coincidentally where I was hit by the police. And um, I was fearful of my gear, so I, I immediately left. I was very close to St. Catherine and Barrie. Uh, I had my bicycle with me. Uh, I've, se I've seen some people getting uh, arrested. Uh, so I took my camera out to start filming. Uh, they asked me to move across the street. I didn't apparently go quick enough. They started to uh, push me, uh, you know, to encourage me to go across, but I was kind of stumbling with my bike. I ended up dropping my bike and turning around and crossing the street, leaving my bike there. Uh, after a few minutes, uh, we recuperated the bike, went back across, uh, away from the, the, the police officers, but they followed us. And as soon as I, I was probably about a block away from, from where they were doing the, the uh, arrest, uh, arrestations. And <laughs> um, at that point, I closed my camera, turned around, and that's they took the advantage when I was had my camera off and they sprayed me. Um, it's something that we've been witnessing uh, clearly uh, with the police here in Montreal. Uh, they purposefully try to block the view of any and all uh, journalists to um, citizens that are arrested um, and how they are being treated in, in specific situations with the demonstrations like what we saw. So oh, it's not only media. I mean, police don't seem to be caring about anybody. I've seen people here with their child in carriages and the children in carriages and there's a... Uh, there's no respect for anybody. They're just here on a mission, it seems like. They, they really seem not to want uh, the press to film certain things they were doing, like making arrests. It's to the point that we're, we're, we're going in, in pairs now, because one to document, and the other one to document the person filming, because it's to the point, like, we're getting manhandled, we're getting pepper sprayed, we're getting beaten. Uh, 
by nightsticks and it's it's really terrible. Well, it's it's du it's direct violation. We have to have uh, the media is there to, to to observe what's going on in the streets, and uh, if we're prevented from filming it, it's uh, preventing it's it's totally. Uh, <laughs> It's the first, it's, it's, it's our rights, it's, and it's violating them. We have to know what's going on down there, and we're there to film it. Police are never held accountable for any of their actions. I haven't seen in years where they've been accountable for, held accountable for anything they've done. I mean, I feel that I can't go and get the shots that uh, the mainstream media is missing. Um, I mean, the mainstream media is painting a certain picture and we're trying to get into the fray and cover what's really going on. And they're pushing us back, they're being violent towards us, they're not letting us in, they're not letting us document. So I feel that my, my freedom of speech is being trampled on, definitely. We, uh, as uh, community media, are um Undermined, obviously, by the uh, by the uh, corporate sector and by the um, government, because uh, we represent the voices of uh, communities that uh, are um, in opposition to uh, those forces of uh, power in our society. I think there's a, a hesitancy, especially on the part of the mainstream media, to get too close to the actual line of confrontation between the demonstrators and police, and in doing so, it it uh, it leaves the police to tell the story, I suppose. I, I, I just find it deplorable how the SPVM is, is treating journalists, protesters, everybody. It's, it's not acceptable at all. I don't know that it's, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's part of a, an overall calculated program, but I think, I think certainly they, they need to always, they need to a lot be frustrated and even if they're tired, they need to remember always that that is their primary job, to protect the public and at times they have put the public in danger through their actions. There's two things at play, you know, there is the clear identification by the police and the state of uh, their preferred media. Um, they do not respect uh, citizen or and community uh, media as uh, journalism or reporting. Um, and they, uh, you know, one of the things that we were being constantly attacked on is our uh, political opinion, as if, uh, you know, our uh, support of uh, the students' movement uh, is a reason where we are um, acceptable for us to be attacked by uh, the police. You know, in reality, it should be the opposite. You know, if you are being targeted by the police because of your political opinion, then it's even more uh, worse than if it was just because you're a media. It seems like a small violation getting pepper sprayed. Uh, in other countries, it, it's you know much uh, more extreme things are going on. But if we can't have these simple rights here in Canada, how can we preach other countries uh, about human rights?